Hey there folks, Rinny MC here, and welcome back to Phoenix Strike Dual Destinies Prior to the Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. Thank you, Captain Cruz, for the code. Last part, we were starting up the trial and doing cross-examining, and we found out that there was a glowy paint on an outfit that was on Robin Newman's hands, and we are about to cross-examine him. So let's do it. Will the witness please stand? Dan, state his name and occupation. I'm Robin Newman! I want to become a great artist! I practice day and night. Yeah! No, that's not it. I was going to be sincere, man! So, for occupation, should we put down budding artist? No! Name is Legal Ken, Senior Prosecutor Course! This race is proof of my masculinity! I've been trained to become a prosecutor for 18 years! <clears throat> I assume you'll be cleaning up the pottery you smashed before you leave today? Oh, man! Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm, it seems the witness has finally settled down. I guess nothing faces the judge after all these years. You may proceed with your testimony, Mr. Newman. Specifically, the court wishes to hear why you had fluorescent paints on your hand. Alright. Why I touched the costume. I would see Juniper in the dressing room, but she wasn't there! When I walked by that frilly costume, I was like, Whoa! The mannequin that was on, it was about to fall on me! Got a pain on me when I caught it! I never put it on, that's just stupid! Hold it! Your Honor, I recommend a short therapy session for the witness. Well, Mr. Newman does seem particularly agitated, but... Uh, 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 no! Not again. What's his problem? Since at the moment Robin took the stand, the discord in his heart, do you think he might be hiding something? Probably. You ready, Mr. Newman? Let's see what the Moon Matrix can do for you. I want to see Jennifer in the waiting room, but she wasn't there. When I walked by that frilly costume, I was like, "Whoa!" Then the was on. It was about to fall over. I got that paint on me when I caught it. I never put it on. That's just stupid. He had to catch the mannequin as it suddenly started to fall over? Even I can guess this one. The most natural response would be that would have been to would have to be surprised. I was right, so maybe I should try focusing on some other emotion. Alright. So surprise. Happy when he sees the costume. Over, I got that paint on me when I caught it. I never put it on, that's just stupid. I'm gonna go with the happy. Got it! Okay, it was the happy. When you mentioned the stage costume, I sense a sudden powerful feeling of joy. Would you care to explain, Mr. Newman? Wait, 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 wait. Why would a frilly scarf thing and a long skirt make me feel like that? I don't know, but you seem awfully interested in that costume for some reason. You didn't happen to put it on, did you? <laughs> like, like I'm into that kind of thing. I'm a dude! I'm into braces! You don't think Robin's actually got a thing for Juniper's outfit, do you? Oh, come on! Isn't it obvious? You're interested. Enjoying this a bit too much, Athena. No way, no! The mannequin came falling toward me, so I stuck out my hand to stop it. End of story! I 
that's a new piece of information. Time to run an update. Hmm, even after that update, something just doesn't feel right here. Do I have anything that could prove a statement and contradicts what really happened? Um... Can I have a look at details here? Well, it's on the underside of his hand. Right. Because they look like they've been gripped. Right? Maybe. I'm gonna try Take it. That! So the mannequin came falling toward you, so you stuck your hands out to stop it. So then the fingers of your hands would have been pointing. Okay, yeah, no, it was. I tried to do it myself, I'm like, wait, no, the hands are right, but no, it, it's. 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 Yeah. They've been pointing outward like this. But that's not what the handprints show. In fact, this looks more like just your thumbs and the base of your palms. <laughs> why in the world would I leave such weird handprints? You know why? You looked them when you went to adjust the scarf after putting it on. Just like the model in the strong. Whoa! Why don't you just admit it, Mr. Newman? You did put the stage costume on, didn't you? And you really do like Ms. Wood's clothes, don't you? Fine, I have been putting the costume on. But I don't like girly clothes! Ah! Yes, new information to plug in. Time for another update. Snuck in knowing the costume was in there. My heart was pounding, even though I'm a guy. And I saw it. It was even, it was even more amazing than I imagined. I was like, whoa, I'm a guy, but I got all excited. It's true. I, I did put on girly clothes. But it was strictly for artistic purposes. Hopefully we can figure out what Robin's hiding based on this new information. I hope it's not more than we bargained for, although that usually seems to be the case. Alright. My heart was pounding. Wait, there's a sadness here. I saw it. I'm like, whoa. Or scared, I guess. Not sad, scared. It was strictly... There's some angry here. Mr. Newman, this emotion isn't consistent with your testimony or he's talking about. It's not true! I only listen to test on the field never knows! Yes! I wouldn't really call that an, an emotion. I <laughs> wonder where it went wrong. Well, better try it again. Bring it on! I'm a million times or a billion! And I don't care! Um, there's still a happy here. Maybe it's a happy? No. Got it. Okay, it was it was that sad. I was thinking there, another emotion doesn't fit. <laughs> so what? It really started to get my nerves mad. <laughs> Mr. Newman, you got excited when you put the costume on. But you also felt sad. <laughs> Who cares if I felt sad? It's no big deal! Okay, Mr. Newman, out with it. Why do you feel sad? You're hiding something, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. oh! You're not fooling anyone anymore. Now tell us why you were sad. Okay, fine! 
Yeah, yeah, well, tell you, the reason I felt sad is. 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 No matter how much I dress up, I'll never be as pretty as Juniper! Well, no offense, but his habit of shouting at the top of his lungs doesn't exactly help. No! That's not it! I don't think all of those girly clothes are just a bit totally pretty! But, but, there is something that keeps getting in my way! Wow, that's a whole lot of anger and raw emotion right there. The sword is crying out in pain. His emotions are out of control. Out of control emotions? I hope we saw those during the Nine Tails Veil incident. So all he has to do is find the source of his uncontrollable anger, right? Right. Help me look for a conflict between the statements and the images we see. If we can find that, we can wrestle him away from whatever's tormenting him. Zoom so said that there's something getting in the way of him being pretty. Something that doesn't go with girly clothes. But what could it be? <laughs> I, I'll test <taste> my mind! <laughs> What the heck is going on? I'm stuck in knowing the gossip was in there! I was bound to even though I'm a guy! It's true! I felt a power feeling when I saw that long, frilly scarf! Oh man! I wore barely clothes. I felt like a diva. I pulled the hood over my head! It felt so right! I was totally dressed up like a girl! We're looking for the source of this anger? Right, the conflict in his testimony will likely, uh, most likely arise from his emotional repression. Let's compare the images to his testimony. I mean, might find a problem that way. What happens if I just... Okay, so Probe just does that. Oh no, my guy. Cross feeling. Early clothes. I feel like a diva. Felt so right. Dressed. Brace? Mr. Newman, you feel a great deal of anger towards your brace, don't you? Is that what you feel is holding you back from being as pretty as you think you should be? Uh, 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 oh, 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 what? <laughs> Mr. Newman, the truth is you really want to take that brace off, don't you? <laughs> no way, man! This is too masculinity! I can never take it off! Is it that you can't take it off, or that you don't want to take it off? Oh man, I should have got my big mouth shut! This is really weird. He exhibits intense anger towards his brace, which he calls a symbol of masculinity. He can't take it off, not even when he's trying to look pretty. What could be at the root of his com complicated relationship with his brace? I have a feeling we're on the verge of uncovering an earth-shattering secret. Athena, you okay? It seems Robin is still hiding a secret. A big one. Bigger than the fact that he's secretly jealous of Jennifer's looks? Yes, at least I think so. No, it can't be. I just thought of something, but it's totally insane. Mr. Newman! What? I'm onto your little secret, and if I'm correct, it's not very little at all. It's huge. This sounds completely insane, but it's the only possibility left. You're a girl. Mr. Newman? Or should I say, Ms. Newman? You are and always have been a girl. What? Have you lost the plot, Athena? No, I'm completely serious. I don't have any direct evidence. The heck is calling me? Random Ontario number, got it. But that's what Robin's heart is shouting out loud and clear. Hold it! I still think you've totally lost it. I mean, Robin reeks of testosterone. How could he possibly be a she? I, for one, have never seen a girl who shouts like a maniac all the time. Oh, 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 oh. I've seen plenty of witnesses in my day, but if he is a she, then she's the most convincing actress I've ever encountered. Therefore, let me pronounce to my verdict, Robin Newman is without question, a man! Oh, 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 oh,
You are now truly just a stone as equal in one area. You are just as equally insane. Never in the history of this plan has there been a finer specimen of the masculine spirit. Oh. <laughs> if you guys are done talking about me, <laughs> Miss Saix, no, uh, I'll make call you Athena. I, I, I want to keep this a secret, at all costs. But no, oh, oh, and, and no way. <laughs> Surely this must be some kind of jest. <laughs> nope, it's for real. I'm a girl, body and soul. If you don't believe me, I'll give you a p e e p e e. -e. As if <laughs> What an amazing transformation. Well, all the discord is gone. The image is now complete. boys since I was little and I studied law just as my parents wanted. But now this living lie that had me pinned to the ground is oh, oh. <sighs> It's been blown this for you, Athena! Now I can stop pretending I want to be a prosecutor! I'm gonna be an artist! Yay! Order? Order? What a shocking development. He really did turn out to be a she. Why is everyone looking at me like that? He, I feel like a movie star or something. But no, paparazzi, please. I'm having my privacy. Okay, a why? Ah, <laughs> no picture, you'll regret it, man. I'm just imagining things. Was Robin even more hyper now than when she was a he? I don't know. Maybe it's because she finally got her troubles off her chest. Literally. This is all well and good, but does he being a she actually change anything? The fact that the witness is actually a girl does change things. Because there is now a piece of evidence that we must reevaluate. Hmm, very well. Let's see what the defense has for us now. What piece of evidence must we reconsider now we know that the witness is a girl? The declaration of love, right? Maybe that's supposed to be reconsidered because Mr. Newman is actually Miss Newman. Hmm, please do explain. Yes, Your Honor. You see, I feel that if you have a sharp eye and an open mind, you can discover something completely new in the most obvious places. Hmm, yeah, the defensive statement reflects anything but those two admirable traits. Ah! I guess that won't fly. I know we have some sort of evidence that could be seen differently based on sex. Evidence must we reconsider. Oh, the tape. Take that! Right. This is why I'd like the court to reconsider. Oh, the tape recorder, the one that recorded the threat. You're a goner. That's right. And we have already established that it's a female voice in the recording. Of all the students who could have moved the body before the mock trial was to start, our client was the only female if he excluded Miss Scuttlebutt because of her alibi. And that's why the tape recorder made our client the prime suspect. Ah, so then... 
That's right, the witness just revealed that she's a girl. Therefore, if we are using the voice in this recording as the basis for hurling accusations, this witness must be labeled a suspect too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! Wow, talk about a sudden turn of events. You've done it. You found a hole in one of the prosecution's key pieces of evidence. Yeah, wow, that's a lot of work for a single one. Objection! Not so hasty now. You're forgetting that only one person here was privy to the script. Ergo, Ms. Jennifer Woods is still the prime suspect. Objection! But Ms. Newman hid the fact that she was a girl, both at the crime scene and in court. I'd say that puts her in camp suspicious. <laughs> That's not nice, Athena. Oh, how can you accuse me of being a killer? Maybe I was just a weak and a little girl just thinking about the murder of me. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> suspicious is as suspicious does. Undoubtedly, the witness does have some sort of connection to this crime. After our newfound that lady is merely feigning ignorance. We can surmise that she would lend support to the principal offender, Jennifer Woods. By leading Miss Scuttlebutt to the body that would make her an accessory to the crime. Uh, how could you say that? I'm not an accessory to any crime, Mr. Birdman! Objection! Uh, Birdman? In any event, with the witness as an accessory, it explains quite a lot, doesn't it? Objection. Does it not? Alright, <laughs> email makes sense somehow. And we'll keep giving Jenny unless we can show someone else in the script's details. How could someone have gotten their hands on that kind of info? The way they could have known what was, it, what was in the script was if they had... I've penned the script. I've got it! All anyone has to do is write their own script. In a completely dream of thought, devil may care way. I'm not even gonna ask how such a Frankenstein could resemble the actual script. Oh! oh well, if at first you don't succeed! The only way I could have known is they had heard it from Jenny. Sorry, Junie, but you're not gonna like this. Our client may have leaked the script's details to someone. What the devil? I, I know I shouldn't have, but I, I revised the script to favor the prosecution. Professor Court knows who immediately and changed it back. Ms. Woods did not want Hugh O'Connor to win the mock trial. That's why I believe she leaked the details to the witness, Robin Newman. I get it. If Robin won, he wouldn't be able to confess to Juniper. Right. Juni was probably trying to keep their friendship becoming, from becoming awkward. Could you see now? What a bunch of bulls! I never heard a word about the script of Juniper! Never ever! <laughs> You sure? Can you look me in the eye and swear you didn't? <laughs> A B A D Athena, you don't have any evidence. <sighs> Actually, we might have just a thing. Really? Yeah, one of Robin's lines I read when we were reenacting the mock trial. Here's a shot of the crime scene, ironically, with Professor Court, who poses the corpse. Era Floorhead, how did the mock trial participants react to this photo? Mr. Newman was surprised by what Professor Court was wearing. Robin said, oh, the green sweatsuit. S-U-R-E! Sure, I might have said that, but so what? Well, I think of it this way, Athena. Yeah, uh, which way exactly? <laughs> if I told you I'd be wearing a blue suit today, but then try to wearing what I've got on now, what would you say? 
Um, oh, the red suit. Ah, uh, I, I think I've got it. Your Honor, we have evidence proving that Ms. Newman knew the contents of the script. Defense moves to present said evidence to the court. Very well, Miss Sykes, present away. Miss Evans proves that Miss Newman knew, had prior knowledge. Is it just the mock trial? Mock Take trial that! script, right? The mock trial script? Miss Newman, during the mock trial, you were shown a photo of the victim's body. And reportedly you reacted by saying, oh, the green sweatsuit. Uh, 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 um, yes, I, I said that. What's your point? You seem to have some issue with a green sweatsuit, and I think I know why. Proof is in the script, specifically on the things prepare page. Sweatsuit, victim's outfit will be a red one from the prosecutor, of course. Uh, uh. You were surprised because the sweatsuit in the photo was green. But if you didn't know about the script's content, then that shouldn't have surprised you. No! I thought we were friends with Dina. I mean, I've been so blind. Am I ever privileged knowledge? I move to declare Ms. Newman a suspect, Your Honor. You what? If knowing script details makes me a suspect, then there must be others besides me. I mean, someone else could have also seen Professor Court's note. N no? What note? The Professor and Juniper were working together to prepare for the mock trial. But only one copy of the script was made to prevent it from being leaked. That gets kind of inconvenient, right? I'm not seriously gonna suggest. <laughs> but it's such growth! Professor Court didn't do exactly what you're thinking! She didn't write down any of the proceedings or the truth behind the case. But she did write a note to herself about the props and details about the victim's B-O-D-Y! Is this really true, Miss Newman? <laughs> if you don't believe me, send the police on my house! Don't want to check the pictures on my camera! <laughs> that might give me an advantage! So I took a picture of the note! I'd say she's telling the truth. Wait a sec. If there's a note with details about the body, then that means there are others who could have made the murder look like our client's script. Yes, I believe you're right. Hmm. Apparently, in this case, it isn't as clear cut as Prosecutor Black Quill would just have us believe. This new revelation blasts a big fat hole in the prosecution's case. Oh ho! Objection! Bully for you, Missy, but don't think this spells victory. And why not? My battle is still young, and my blade is now fully drawn. Between it and my next witness, your life will be forfeit. So put away your wooden sword. And show me what you're truly capable of if you wish to live. You want it? <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna bring it. I already said I want nothing to do with this trial. Oh, juvenile, it's not a matter of what you want, for you will cooperate, Hugh O'Connor. Prosecutor Blackwell, why have you called this witness? You will recall that the day before the mock trial, in short, the day of the murder, the accused testified that she left for home around 6 p.m. Yes, my notes here do confirm that fact. Right, our client wasn't at school at the estimated time of death, so she couldn't be- OBJECTION! Yeah, that was but a felicitous lie, or am I mistaken, golden boy? I've no intention of saying anything more. No, if you'll excuse me. Hold, I am not through with you yet. <laughs> seems a rogue prosecutor has it out for me. Leave, and we just might discuss you know what. Ah, no, wait. 
One little statement and Mr. Cool loses it? What's that all about? I changed my mind. I'll- I'll stay and testify. Hmm, are you sure, Mr. O'Connor? <laughs> the word of a genius is as good as gold. Let's get on with this. You, O'Connor, senior at Themis Legal Academy, lawyer coerce. How's that? Just fine, your testimony, then, if you please. You're up against the top of the class now. I'd be careful if I were you. I know Jane would never lie like that. Just that pompous schoolboy won't know what hit him. Around the time of the murder. To get mentally prepared for the mock trial and meditate at the archery range until 7 p.m. Around 7 15, I went to the main building before going home. That's when I saw June of her. We didn't say much as we passed by each other. She seemed her usual self. That's it. Anything else you'd like to ask? That is quite enough. Well done, golden boy. <laughs> The final bell rings at 7 p.m., at which point the campus is a desolate place. Now you'll recall the tape recorder. We know the time of the voice recording. It was 7.10 p.m., the day before the mock trial. That was a dark hour of this heinous crime. Do you have any proof of that? As its final bell, the school plays a special broadcast when the clock strikes 7. Female voice on the tape appears 10 minutes after that broadcast. Kill her way until the school was empty to spring her devious and deadly trap. A recorder updated in the court record. So when the witness saw the defendant, that would have been... Indeed, it was five minutes after the voice was captured on tape in the art room. There we go, we know that the accused was still in the main building, the building even after the killing. Hmm, so the time of the murder and the time of when the body was moved... Great, another inconvenient testimony. Miss Sykes, your cross examination, please. We're on the time of the murder. Well, time for our usual thing. Yes. So, um, do you meditate often? <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna start pestering me too. What's that supposed to mean? No need to play dumb with me. All the girls want to know about my private life. What? A reminder of the fence, this is a court of law, not a pickup spot. Hm, it seems to miss a fancy fancy lawyer submitting with a witness. Objection! 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 I'm just trying to establish the witnesses. If you must know, I never go a day without meditating. You satisfied now, a stalker girl. That's it! You better take that! Oh, whoa. Well. Whoa, whoa, there, tiger. Just take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> I'm just gonna my test me now if you don't mind. I, I read those chill off or not. Like, like, chill? Oh, no, it's civil. Alright, I want 715. <laughs> Our client has said she went home at 6. You and Professor Court were busy preparing for the mock trial together yesterday, right? Was that the last time you saw her? Yes, I left school around 6 p.m. No. Wrong. I don't know what she was doing, but she only probably was definitely in school after 7. I suppose the other side could prove one way or the other. <laughs> If Junie was there, then that means she's lying. Truth be told, I only saw her for the briefest of moments. Say much. Hold it! Usual self. They just walk past a good friend, barely saying a word. The final bell had already run. They get mad when we stand around chatting. In the end, we're not like you people talking endlessly in those annoyingly loud voices. Objection! Annoyingly loud voices! I like having you rape from insulting my partner like that! Apparently, I shout objection right about now, but I'll take this one for the team. <laughs> anyway, I think that's about all I have to say. Hold it! 
Alright, I'll take you up on your kind offer. I expected as much, so go ahead and ask away. Um, Mr. Connor, I want to ask you... Why did you stay past the last bell? Why would an honor student like you ignore the last bell? I wouldn't say I ignored it. I'm simply running a little late. Do you remember exactly how late? <laughs> You're a stickler for details, lady. My plan I had to say it was maybe about 10, 15 minutes. If you think it's that important, I'll add to my testimony. I was hoping you'd say that. Final bell rolling. Hold it! You ignored the last bell for no reason? Shame on you! No, shame on you. Pressing me for no reason. Ugh! Well, people do run late sometimes, like you on the day the, this whole case began. Ah! It appears we have a culprit in the case of the pot calling the kettle black. It <laughs> do, your honor! Mm, now what? Ask another question? Did you go to the art room? Did you stop by the art room? Or as it's now known, the scene of the crime? No, I didn't. Can you prove it? As much as I'd like to say I could, I can't. But let me ask you, can you prove that I did? As much as I'd like to say I could, I can't. I will ask, how often do you visit there? Hardly ever. There's no reason for me to be there anyway. There's no reason for you to be there? Is there an echo in here? If something is bothering you, I'll just add it to my testimony. I'll consider it. Thank you for noticing. Let's add your statement to the testimony. Is it just gonna like change? Hold it! You had no reason to be in the art room. Really? A lawyer course I'm in is supervised by Professor Means. Unless I'm not a member of Professor Course Art Club, so why would I even go there? What about art class? <laughs> nice try, but seniors don't take art class. Alright, then let me ask you. Wait, I just remembered something important. You did? I scored only 100% on all the art tests I took through junior year. That's it. Right, how he's happy to indulge some ego stroking. Anyway, what's us next? How did you prep? Please still record what you were doing on October 23rd, the day before the mock trial. <laughs> That's an easy one. Nothing in particular. Nothing at all? You didn't help with the preparations. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I was merely playing a role assigned to me. I left the preparations and the like to others. My job was to be mentally prepared. Can you put your heart and soul into getting things ready while well, he just sounds behind? Just to reiterate, I spent most of this 23rd meditating at the archery range. I didn't talk to anyone until the school closed at 7 p.m. Those a few archery club members that did come and go I was there. But you didn't talk to anyone, not a single soul? That's right. I didn't say a word to anyone till the final bell at 7 p.m. I see. This is crucial information. Please add it to your testimony. I don't know if you're bluffing, but if you are, you have a pretty good poker face. I talk to anyone. You really didn't talk to anyone. Well, I did exchange a few greetings. What does that matter? So he didn't have any conversations the entire day. He thinks that claim needs a little more scrutiny. What should I do? Is there anything I should ask about in more detail? No further questions. Actually, never mind. I've got all the info I need. <laughs> don't I? Don't we seem confident? like that. Wow, is that the confidence and composure that comes from being a genius? I think it doesn't matter who's on the stand, our job is still the same. Sure, but the genius was really still at school after six. 
<laughs> I didn't put any consistencies in his testimony either. What am I supposed to do now? Talk to anybody on October 23rd? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I already told you, my word is as good as gold. Hayden, how do you explain this? I don't spare any details. Sorry, never seen that before. This is the victim's planner. She recorded all your plans in great detail. Take a look at the this page here, everybody's toy third, meet with you, and important. Don't you find that interesting? <laughs> oh, what? Where'd you get that? The keyword here is important. You say you were at the archery range all day. You also said a few students came and went while you were there. That doesn't sound like a great place for an important talk. But the entire campus was buzzing with activity before the mock trial. Where could they have possibly had a private conversation? I thought about that too, but the situation changes after the last bell. What's this now? When I stayed after the last bell, in order to have a private talk with a victim. Am I right, Mr. O'Connor? <laughs> this is insane. Hmm, must we go through this yet again? Because you also have no evidence as usual. No, I don't have any direct evidence. However, the witness was meditating until after the last bell. And he attempted to conceal his private meeting with a victim. <laughs> First Robin, now me. Who are you going to accuse next? And you're just another unscrupulous attorney looking to get ahead. Don't let him get to you. He's definitely hiding something. I mean, we're supposed to be with the victim around her estimated time of death. I have my suspicions about Robin, but... He seems just as guilty. Uh, these three are the only possible suspects, after all. Mr. O'Connor, answer me this. Did you meet with Professor Court that day? Sorry, Mr. Jailbird Prosecutor. I don't mean to steal your thunder, but I've got something to say. If it will save me some trouble, then by all means, speak away. You'll recall Miss Sykes, the voice on the tape recorder was... Email. Knowing that, I'd like to explain how I could possibly be the suspect. <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> Impressive. Golden boy here does shine like shine gold indeed. Care to take the reins? You're more than capable of prosecuting this case. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm signing to be a lawyer. What a pity. I think such genius is to be wasted on mere lawyering. And last, your moment is here, Sykes Dono. Time to refute Golden Boy's statement and prove that you are the young prodigy worthy of the badge on your lapel. <laughs> Could you lay any more pressure on? Boys is unmistakably female, so there's no point in arguing about that. Yeah, you're right. Which case? Whom does voice on the tape really belong to? Um... The victim? Or the witness? The victim. The voice on the tape belongs to the victim. And that's the only thing that makes sense. Objection! Are you mad? The voice on the recording says you're a goner. That's something a murderer shouts at the victim, not the other way around. Hmm. Yeah, that is a problem. You're a goner. You're a goner. You're a goner. Um, Athena? You're a goner. You're- you a goner. You a corner. You O'Connor? Wait a sec! 
Whoa, Athena, you're scaring me here. You're scared? I'm terrified for even coming up with this. With what? How's your black quilt? You want to know if I'm worthy of my badge? Well, I'm about to show you why. Despite my age, I can wear it with pride. Um, then can I take it? You won't be changing your argument. Still, it stands that it's a bit odd for the victim to be the one yelling, You're a goner. You're a goner, and that kind of something. I agree, if that's what the victim was saying. But it's not. Hmm, I assume you have something to back up your assertion, Miss Sykes. Not exactly, but you don't have to add fuel to his fire, Your Honor. If it isn't a Professor Court's voice on the tape, then she was shouting because she was... Golding O'Connor. I would like to call one basic fact into question. Is that shot on the tape really saying, you're a goner? What are you up to now, Athena? Professor Court's planner said she was supposed to meet with a witness for an important talk. Perhaps our witness, despite being a genius, had done something wrong. This made Professor Court get angry with him during their private meeting. I don't see how this changes what we heard on the tape. Well, if you want to see how it changes things, then let's try a little experiment. Your Honor, I want you to yell at the witness as if you're mad at him. But, and this is important, use his full name. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm Hugh Connor. <laughs> what do I like to do to deserve that? Yes, yeah, like death. Now try again, but faster. You Hugh Connor. Uh huh? You, uh, Connor? You, uh, oh, Connor? You, uh, uh, Connor? Wait a sec. No, 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 this can't be. Objection! You think I'd spend the energy of a lady in this fire if it wasn't true? Ah, but it is, Your Honor. Humans are not perfect, and that's a scientific fact. We sometimes mistake shadows for monsters or the wind for voices. Hmm, now that you mention it. You can do this, Athena. Just give the old kite one more little push. Water break. Oh, I'm kind of low on water. The sound of the tape recorder was never the phrase, you're a goner. That's only what we thought we heard, when in fact, it was the witness getting yelled at. Horrible note that this is different from the selective hearing men are so good at! And I think you're right, but what was that last part again? Oh, never mind. The important thing is that the voice that was recorded isn't our client. And since it was the victim schooling the witness, he must now join the list of suspects. <laughs> Objection! Hmm, I had thought the testimony would suffice, but it seems it has come to this. Well, not about this fallacious quibble to up in this case. Prosecution is one final piece of evidence present to the court. Evidence? What's he gonna pull out now? Feast your eyes on this photo and let me see that insolent look vanish from within them. Let's see here. Oh, it's a picture of the defendant and the victim. The photograph shows professor and student preparing for the mock trial together. Wait, was this taken in the art room? The room where the murder occurred? Indeed it was, but the revelations did not end there. Do you see the clock on the wall? It reads 7.05, a mere five minutes before the voice was recorded on the tape. What? What? The accused brutally stabbed the victim to death five minutes after this photo was taken. Cool camera photo added to the court record. My hunch is it's fake. I'm from a different day. Hmm, it seems the defendant's culpability in this crime is quite obvious. You know Professor Court just five minutes before she was murdered? <laughs> what now? Nothing I can say. I say you can change that fact. Mm, understand now. You can believe in your clan all you wish, but try as you might. Such misplaced faith will never be cut, be cut down before the cruel, steely blade of truth. <laughs> Listen, Missy, the person you'd like to save more than anyone else in the world? 
I'll be willing to wage the, your defenses on what they desire. What? I became a lawyer so I could... You still fail to understand, but there's so much pain in the feet. Courts are not the play, play yards of little children dressed as lawyers. So before you break your back in failure, run along home and grow up. <laughs> oh. Isn't giving up now? He's got another thing coming. I have to find my inner strength if I ever hope to save him. But I can't think of any way to strike back. Where's the times when lawyers had to force their biggest smiles? That's impossible! How can I smile in these circumstances even though I forced it? This is better than bad. Who knew Blackfield had that one waiting in the wings? Why didn't that twist the samurai just presented at the beginning? Wait, this was his real plan? Was he just trying to show me how weak and powerless I am? Maybe he's right because I really haven't got a clue. Who's the real killer? Who murdered Professor Constance Court? Robin Newman, a girl who had been forced to live a lie as a guy. Who's the Hugh O'Connor, the honor student who had met with Professor Court? There seems to be little reason for to debate the defendant's guilty any longer. Or guilty any longer, it's time for a verdict. The time for a verdict has come. What's to be in this? You can't interrupt a judge about to hand down. <laughs> Maybe, but false verdicts are a N O N O. What? He's doing it. Please explain yourself. Jennifer's not the killer. I know because because I know who the real killer is. You do? You know who the real killer is? What is she up to now? Yep. I know because a real killer is M E me. <laughs> uh, why? It was a baby. I did not know. Just me. I don't get it. Why is she confessing? Hmm. Ms. Newman was witness near the stage. There. That was I took nervous trust. There's even a really a photo of her. The more I think about it, the more suspicious she seems. Robin Newman isn't the kind of guy who pays the blame on friends. Just so he can walk free. Get it over with. Declare me guilty already. <laughs> Wait, Jennifer, what are you doing? Thank you all for all you've done, Dina, but you'll have to forgive me. I can't let my friends take the blame any longer. Jenny, no! Don't do it! You and Rowan have done nothing wrong, and they have absolutely no connection to this case. Real killer is... is me. I am alone and responsible for the entire crime. What? Oh, 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 Jenny! You know that's not true! Her hip and retract your statement! I'm afraid it is true. Oh, forgive me, Nina. Order? Order? Oh, well, someone please explain what's going on here. Hmm, I see right through your cheap ploy. School rules state that a prior conviction terminates one's eligibility to graduate. A guilty verdict here would make whatever dreams one had go up in a puff of smoke. Oh, I wasn't aware. Even meek little mice will fight when corner in a pitiful spectacle at my dad. These vermin are trying to protect each other now that they're no they've nowhere else to run. Protect each other? 
Oh, wait. So is Robin just trying to protect Jenny too? So then the real killer is... Huh. And this whole thing's a joke. Oh, now it's Hugh's turn? What? What is wrong with kids these days? I know it just, just crossed your mind, Miss Sykes. You think I'm the killer, don't you? Wow, he really is genius. He even knows what you're thinking. <laughs> I think it's about time I told you this truth. I'll even get right to the point. It was me. I did it. Wait. What? Now both potential suspects are claiming to be a real killer. <laughs> I, I I'm so confused right now. If you still have doubts, how about, how about I detail my murder plot? It's absolute genius. Enough of this nonsense. This is a court of law, not the status so of high school drama. I see I have no choice. I'm afraid I'll have to. Hoi! Wait, your boldness. I'm sorry, Prosecutor Blackwell, but I'm in no position to hand down a verdict just yet. I'm hoping that the defense and prosecution can come up with some airtight evidence. That is why I'm giving you both the rest of the day to continue investigating this case. Pinchy, I think I'm dreaming. Hmm, fine, do as you wish. This brings today's proceedings to a close. Court is adjourned. To be continued. Well, yep, it's going confusing. Of course, based on the intro video, all three were shown, so Maybe they're trying to actually like obfuscate who actually did it by showing all three. Woo! Or they all played a part. Maybe. Then again. Eh, first case. Something something grudge. Maybe there was just this too. Oh. We'll find that. We'll, we'll we'll do more investigating next time. So thank you for watching. Thank you again, Capcom Creators, for the code. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps to keep being content like this and the more. And links for that in the description below along with little links to me on social media so thank you again for watching and until next time this is really mc signing out